as they're building the dam, they're increasing the water elevation, and the banks are being uh, saturated to a point where they've never had that saturation before. This is a, a soil bioengineering project that um, we are uh, responsible for overseeing on behalf of uh, the partnership. And what it is essentially is using biological um, means to stabilize the shoreline. We've got a series of um, six demonstration projects where we're stabilizing the lake shore. We're stabilizing the embankments with the use of native plant vegetation to perform the engineering structural uh, issues as well as uh, stabilizing the banks with a, uh, an environmentally sensitive manner. These slopes were identified early on in the project as being not particularly stable. So uh, we actually hired a uh, consultant out of Atlanta to come in and develop a design for the site. And um, so they put in hard engineering, they plant uh, willow species, and essentially what it does is it uh, improves the stability of the slope as well as improving the biodiversity and, and keeping the ecology very nice in this area for fish and potentially fish habitat. Today what we're doing is we're actually transplanting cattails. This time of year the cattails have gone to sleep for the winter and sent all their energy down to the roots. So uh, we're going and excavating down just below the root level and hauling it on site and transplanting it in these trenches, these divots that you can see behind us here. As part of the no net loss, we're actually salvaging cattails, not from, not from natural wetland areas, but uh, part of it you can see it, uh, over this way is uh, uh, an area that's going to be deeply flooded, so the cattails won't survive. We've managed to salvage some from that, and then from some disturbed areas around the work site and it's a different habitat that was here before, but it is habitat and it will be there for fish and for birds and for all the other, other little critters. Logistically, it is difficult working in the north trying to get um, willows that don't grow in this area over to this site. Uh, we've also, this year in particular, been fighting with Mother Nature until about five days ago it was about 20 degrees up here and now all of a sudden we finally got our cold snap and the willows have gone dormant so we can harvest them and plant them. Until they go dormant, we can't plant them because they wouldn't succeed out here. So that certainly has been a logistical challenge to try and get everything done now before the freeze up which seems to be coming really quickly.